I don't know if Ma, I believe Mawa hit him to the head. If he hit him to the head, I believe that is illegal. That is illegal in the semi pros. From what I stand, I believe that is what happened from my from the broadcast position. It seems like Mawa struck him to the head. So he's taking some time. He's able to recover. And his lip is okay. Trevor Mitchell checking to make sure he's okay. And now we are ready as they touch gloves. Mawa puts his mouthpiece in. Referee Trevor, a man that ends around. And another, they exchange front kicks. Mawa looking, rushing in for the takedown. And a nice takedown by Mawa. Mawa is so powerful. I mean, making his MMA debut, you could not tell that this is the first time he's gotten inside the cage to fight under, under the bright lights for 10th Legion Championship fighting. I mean, this, he looks well seasoned. And now he's in the full guard of Josh Dilcock. And there's a lot of things that can happen, and I know making his debut, Mawa wants to make an impressive showing for all the fans and try to go after that 10th Legion Championship fighting middleweight semi-professional title. As Dilcock, the mouthpiece comes in, uh, comes out. Referee Trevor Mitchell, experienced referee right there to put it right back in to keep them in the same position. And Mawa's just pounding away on the side of the body. Mo'abu Mawa is like a bull. Staying tight to the body of Josh Dilcock. And I'm surprised right now Dilcock is not opening up his legs and looking for a submission attempt. You can hear Craig Lawrence. Ten seconds to go in this, our second round scheduled for three at the bonus arena. Ten lead championship fighting six. Tagging away on the side of the body. And that ends round two. Round two is in the books. As Mola Mawa and Josh Dilcock will go to a third and final round. We're in the black. Josh Dilcock. The 20-year-old out of Selby. The Selby Martial Arts Center. And Mawa out of the Fight Ministry in Grimsby. Both of them in outstanding physical shape. Here we go. The last three minutes. The final round. Nice roundhouse by Dilcock. But Mawa answers with a front kick of his own. A right hand. Now he's walking down Dilcock. Oh, a knee down for Dilcock. Dilcock has Mawa rocked with the right hand in the Superman punch. And knees. Now Dilcock has got Mawa down. Dilcock looking to close the show in mount. The arm bar. He's looking to stretch it out. Dilcock is coming back. He looked like he was down to the scorecards. What a possible comeback for Josh Dilcock. And this only our second fight of the evening. Dilcock could pull off a comeback of the evening so far. Dilcock, he's got to summon the energy though to finish Mawa. He had Mawa rock. He has with full mouth. All he has to do is pound away. If he could look for that submission, he's looking for it. He's got now a triangle choke in. Mawa tries to get out of it. He gets out via the back door. Now the rear naked choke. He looked like he had Dilcock went for the rear naked choke. To no avail. Dilcock, Mawa is busted open over his right eyebrow. Dilcock is trying to finish this fight with his jujitsu. The right cheekbone of Mawa is busted up. Josh Dilcock is looking for his first win of his career. A lot riding on this one. And he opened up this round with a bang. If he would have had that round, one and two, who knows what could have happened. But Dilcock is in, is in a position to stop Mawa. Can Mawa hold on? Josh Dilcock on top, on the bottom. Mola Mawa tagging on the side of the body. The middleweights are setting an incredible pace here tonight. Dilcock has done an outstanding job to turn the tide in his favor in this third and final round. You can hear the trainer, Neil Lofts, telling him it's all right. Just remain composed. Dilcock trying to isolate that left arm. Dilcock now looks for an arm triangle. 
He's trying to grab an arm triangle. Push him off his Mawa. Mawa trying to push him off. And he possibly is coming to his feet. What a war of attrition between two warriors in the middleweight division. And oh, you're looking for a German suplex. Could not get it. We are nearing the final moments of this encounter between Josh Dilcock and Mo'obo Mawa. And Mawa sprawling out. And the horn sounds, and that is the end of a fight. What an incredible battle between Josh Dilcock and Mo'obo Mawa. Five shots, okay. One more. Three. 